Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can install Fedora, Kali, Debian and Ubuntu on Mac OS using Parallels Desktop. I will add timestamps below. So if you want to just install one of the Linux flavors, you can just directly jump to that particular timestamp. And also if you want to know how to install Parallels Desktop, I will add another video in the description. You can follow that. So to do that, firstly, let's open Parallels Desktop. And now here we have this plus icon over here so I'll click on this next what you need to do is select whatever you want to install from this list below so let's say I want to install Fedora first I'll click on that and I'll click on continue and then I'll click on download so now it will take a few minutes and download the arm based Fedora and then you can install it okay so once it is downloaded all you need to do is click on this icon Okay, so once it is downloaded, you can see this automatically created profile. Just click on it. And for the very first time, you will be setting up a password. So let's set up a password. I'll re-enter my password. Once it is up and running, now what Parallels will do, it will install a few more tools. These tools will help you get your webcam, microphone, and internet from your main PC to be working on this virtual machine. And just like that, within a few minutes, all the tools will also be installed. And once it is done, it will ask you for a restart. I'll do that. And after the restart, your Fedora Linux will be up and running. Let's see if internet is working on this VM. So I'll search for a test and yeah, it is working fine. So this is how you can install Fedora directly on your M series Mac. Okay. So now let's move to the other one. Let's see how we can install Debian on Mac OS. So again, to do that, I'll click on this plus icon over here. So this time from this list, we are going to select Debian. I'll click on this and then I'll click on continue. I'll again click on download. Now again, it will take a few minutes to download and then it will install Debian. Okay, so once it is downloaded, it will install Debian. And once it is done, you can click on this already present parallels user. So I'll click on that and it will ask me to create a new password. I'll do that. So once it is installed, it will again install a few more tools. These tools are needed so that you can access your camera, microphone, internet, etc. from your main PC to this VM. So once these tools are installed, it will ask for a restart. So I'll click on that and it will restart the system. Okay, seems like it, it's restarted and it's asking for the password again. I'll enter that. And yeah, seems like Debian is up and running. Let's see if we can access our internet on it. So I'll open Firefox and then test network. And yeah, seems like internet is working fine on this VM. So I'll close it. And now let's move to the next one. So the next we will be installing Kali. So to do that again, I'll click on this plus icon. And then from this list, I will select Kali Linux and I'll click on continue and then I'll click on download. And again, it will take a few minutes to download Kali and once it is downloaded, it will install it. Once it is downloaded, it will install Kali Linux on your Mac. Okay, so once you see this screen, what you need to do is enter a new password here. So I'll enter password and then again, re-enter the same password. And just like that, Kali Linux is installed. Now it will also install a few more tools. These tools will be needed for this VM to access internet, camera, microphone, etc. from your main PC. So I recommend doing that. To do that, all you need to do is enter the same password that you just created and click on authenticate. And within a few seconds, it will install all these tools. So once it installs all those tools, it will ask for a restart. I'll click on restart. Okay, once it is restarted, I'll re-enter the same password. And once you log into the VM, the VM is up and running and ready to be used. Let's open Firefox just for a test to see if I can access the internet. So 
yeah seems like internet is working fine on the vm and this is how you can super easily install kali linux on your apple silicon mac and also if you want to install windows or ubuntu or even x86 ubuntu on this apple silicon mac i'll attach tutorials for those in the description you can check those out and please like subscribe and share this video if you found this helpful and i'll catch you in the next one